Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not chopping. Oh, my God. I accidentally chopped a tree down. How do I accidentally chop a tree down? That's a lot of effort. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the last time I played RuneScape, I was eight years old. I am now 26 years old, 18 years later. I guess RuneScape has been added to Steam where I can finally enjoy its uh, wildness and stuff like that. And we're gonna be checking that out today. It's a brand new type of video. I've never done this before, but my friend told me about this and it really ignited an old experience that I had. Now to let you guys know something really quick before we get started, I was not very good at RuneScape. I do remember getting murked quite a few times at level three and I couldn't even get access to a lot of the areas because I didn't have the appropriate leveling up whatever but we're gonna go ahead and dive nose deeper into this thing if you guys are new to the channel welcome if you guys are returning viewers welcome back all right so as you can see we have our custom character here a black dude with blonde hair that's just not really working for me let's go ahead and pick the hair color real quick you see those the memes one black friend with like anime hairstyles and stuff like that come on bro look at this they ain't got no afros in here man this is very interesting oh my god might be better to be bald might just need to be bald i mean look at this well, this looks like dread, so we could probably get away with this. Let's change the hair color. Hair color, it's gotta be black. And come on, what's up with this skin color, bruh? <laughs> so skin's gotta be like a light brown. Interesting. This is actually pretty cool. I like this. All right, kinda like red and black, that seems pretty sick. Torso color, let's do red. Okay, ooh, nah. Yeah, these, these seem a lot better. Torso, I'm thinking we're gonna change that to black too. I kinda like black. Character name, y'all know we're gonna name this character, guys. If you've been following my channel in its entirety, we're gonna name this guy Prada James. Prada James. Prada James, I've been naming my character like this since I first, so was, name is already taken. It's probably by my old account. I named my character Prada James when I was little. So how about LeBray James? LeBray James. Nice, LeBray James. LeBray James, guys. That's our character profile. I've never played before. I've played so long ago, I can't really remember too much. So we're gonna go with I've never played before. Let's let's play this off of a tutorial. Press the scroll wheel to drag and rotate the camera. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is, I'm using the arrow keys for this. And then pretty much. I have to tap where I want to go. Ooh, talk to Reginald. Okay. A new arrival to the world of uh, Gilinor. Welcome, adventurer. Cool. When you're ready to continue your journey, open that door over there. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Open door. Now go outside and talk to your first instructor, Brina, the survival expert. All right, let's go. You already know what it is. Let's go. We got to go for a nice little walksy walksy. All right. I'm going to talk to Brina. Brina. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Brina. I'm going to teach you about the skills you need to survive. Yeah, this game is exactly as I remember it. The graphics look the, pretty much the same. Oh my gosh, look at all these skill sets. You have many skills you can train. The more you practice, the better you get. Naturally, I'll tell you about the wood cutting, fishing, fire making, and cooking skills. Cool. Let's start with wood cutting. Chop a tree until you get some logs in your backpack. All right, let's go here and chop this tree. Chop down tree. Oh wow, this might take a few swings. You got some logs. Let's go ahead and take these. Nice. Let's go back to Brenna. Very good. Now let's put those logs to use. Interesting. Light the logs in your backpack to make a fire. How do you do that? Okay, craft logs. After you leave the tutorial island, you will be able to use your fletching skill to craft your own bows and arrows from trees. For now, right click the logs and left click light. Okay, so I'm gonna have to right click the logs and left click light. All right, this should take a few seconds to light. Oh, look at this, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. All right. You made a fire and earned experience in the fire making skill. Do I still have to go to her? I still have to talk to Brenna because we're not done yet. Well done. You can cook food on a fire. If you're injured, eating food will restore your health. 
Interesting. All right, let's go find some. We'll need to get some ingredients, I guess, and I'm pretty sure I have to go fishing. All right. Ooh, look at me catching fish. Yes, you catch some raw shrimp. All right, I pre I'm pretty sure I know where this is gonna go. So I'm gonna go to this fire. I'm gonna right click on the shrimp and use raw shrimp. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna say, hold on. Now you've caught shrimp, let's cook it. I'm pretty sure we dropped these in the fire. You'll cook your shrimp on a fire if your fire has gone out. Chop, wait. You'll cook a shrimp on a fire. If your fire has gone out, chop a tree to get some logs and make new fire. Then use the shrimp on the fire. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have to just use uh, drop raw shrimp. Oh no, hold on. Take raw shrimp. Okay. Use raw shrimp. Whoa, what the heck? Okay. How do I do this? Drop raw shrimp. Hold on. How do you drop the shrimp? I don't know how to drop the shrimp. Hold on. I'm confused. Jesus Christ. Okay. Guys, hold on. I'm trying to drop the shrimp in the fire. No, that's not working. Take the shrimp. What did she say? Left click raw shrimp in your backpack and select it, then left click the fire to cook it. Oh, wow. Activity tracker. I haven't been looking at that. Hold on, guys. I'm dumb. All right. Left click. Use raw shrimp. Right? Boom. Use raw shrimp in the fire. There we go. There we go. You accidentally burnt the shrimp. What? Do I have to catch more? Eat burnt shrimp. Eat burnt shrimp. Let's do it. Let's go to her. We can't do it right now. Oh, you burnt your shrimp. Don't worry. That happens to everybody the first time. As you get more experience in cooking, you'll burn the food less often. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the world's best cook, so definitely a little difficult. Okay. Maybe she wants us to do this again. Okay. So our activity log, we have to go catch the raw shrimp again. Let's go catch some raw shrimp. Nice. Chop down some wood. Even though we have wood in our inventory. Can never have too much wood. I'm going to go over here. Ooh, look at me leveling up my tree cutting skills. My tree cutting skills is going through the roof. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna light the logs, guys. And then go ahead and use the shrimp here. Use raw shrimp. And then make a statement with this fire. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Level up. You successfully cooked the shrimp. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. So now I have to go back to Brenna. Oh, well done. Now you have some food to eat whenever you feel poorly. Okay. I've taught you all I can about wood cutting, fire making, and fishing. Open the gate, follow the path to the next area, and talk to the master chef. He'll teach you more about cooking. Interesting. Time to make it, make our way on over to the next area, guys. Uh, which is over here. I think it's over by... Who is this? Oh, hold on. Let's get to this, this gate. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh. Okay. Let's go here. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 we're not chopping. Oh, my God, I accidentally chopped the tree down. How do I accidentally chop a tree down? That's a lot of effort. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Who is this guy? Oh, we speak up. All right, so let's go ahead and change this perspective really quick. Let's go into this house. Oh, awesome. Talk to Master Chef. Welcome, newcomer. I'm the Master Chef. Lev, I will teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king. Awesome. I already know how to cook. Brendan just taught me. That's what I just said. Ha, ha, ha. Look at me being witty. Ha, you can tell, you call that cooking? You're much likely to burn your food if you cook on a log fire out in the open. You should cook at a range whenever you can. Interesting. 
Uh, now I'm gonna teach you the fine art of baking bread. Ooh, I get to make bread? Hey, y'all already know what it is, man. Let's go, man. I'm about to be Chef Boy RD in this thing. The master chef gives you an empty bucket and a pot of flour. Interesting. Fill the bucket with water from the sink and then use it to wet the flour into dough. Then bake the dough into bread in my range, okay? Well, here we go. We're gonna go walk over to the sink. Get water. Nice. You fill the bucket from the sink. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna have to go grab the, use the bucket. Use the bucket of water with a pot of flour. Combine those two. You mix the water and flour to make some bread dough. Now you have to go to the range. Cook at the range. I didn't even know it was called a range. So we have the bread right here. Cook the recipe. Nice. 40 XP. Nice, nice, nice. Now we have to talk to the master chef again. Nice recipe, by the way. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the smell of freshly baked bread. Be sure to carry a little food with you on your adventures. If you're injured in combat, eating this is the best way to feel better. Interesting. Cool. Now off to the next video. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go out of here. Open door. Interesting. Follow the path to the home of the quest guide. All right, guys. Looks like we're almost done with the tutorial. We're making our way through RuneScape flawlessly so far. There's a good sign. Who's this guy? Interesting. Ah, welcome, adventurer. I'm here to tell you about your quests. Let's start by opening the quest list. Ah, quest list. Here we go. I remember these. They. I remember this, man. I had a quest list. I had an activity tracker. It's the same game. I can't wait to free roam and look at all the little worlds I used to be in. My friends. To find the start of a quest, uh, look for the quest icon on your mini map. You'll usually start the quest by taking, talking to someone nearby. Interesting. Quests can vary greatly from collecting uh, beads to hunting down dragons. You have to experience the thrill of questing yourself to be fully to fully understand. That makes a lot of sense. You may find some adventure in the cave under my house. Uh, the cave. Climb down the ladder. Whoa, what the heck with this? Yeah, here we go. Greetings, my name is Deadsick and I'm a miner by trade. On either side of me are rocks containing bin and copper ore, okay? Mine two tin ore and two copper ore. We are going to smelt and smith a melee weapon for you. Pause it here, man. I'm tired. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever okay it's simple just go ahead and do those little things we're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything and it really means a lot now i know you guys have stumbled up across the channel and you're like what does this guy post like what kind of content does he post reactions vlogs pretty much whatever comes to my mind all right it's random content i don't know what i'm gonna be posting 10 years from now but i do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot now for every single person that subscribes and follows all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below. That's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care, peace.